Hi, I'm Ivan Lopez. I'm a UCLA graduate and current Stanford Medical School student, and this is the Biomed Bulletin. Live from the Biomedical Wing at Eastside High School. This is the Biomed Bulletin with your hosts, Mr. Gonzalez and Mr. Gomez. These are this week's top stories. Good morning, and thank you for joining us on our 18th episode of the Biomed Bulletin. Before we get into the news of the week, let's take a look at our subscriber count update. And as you all know, we're about the people. Let's hear from our fans now. I guess it's true what Matty Ortiz says, we are goaded. I'm Mr. Gomez. And I'm Mr. Gonzalez. And this is Mrs. Coffee. Thank you, Mr. Gonzalez and Mr. Gomez. Freshmen, students in Mr. Tilton's English class will be starting Andy Weir's The Martian next week. It's a science fiction story set in the near future about an astronaut who's stranded on Mars. Lots of great biomed connections make this the perfect book to end freshman year. In my class, students have been playing the role of biomedical engineers. We learned about the design process this week by completing an instant challenge and used Tinkercad to create a 3D model of an artery. So cool. Sophomores. Students started their Train a Champion project where they design a complete training program for a fictitious client. This is a major end of the year project, so keep up the good work. Juniors. Nothing. Literally nothing. Seniors, anyone want bacon? Students in Cleveland's class conducted a pig dissection this week to determine the cause of death. If you ever wanted to know what the inside of a pig looks like, check this out. We are excited to share some college acceptance announcements with you all. My name is Diego Mireles, and I'll be studying biology at UCLA. Hello, uh, my name is Aiden Ramirez, and I'm going to be studying kinesiology at Cal State North. I'm Stephanie Carranza, and this fall I will be studying biology at the University of California, Irvine. Hi, I'm with Ty Miles, and in the fall I will study BMED at Hawaii Pacific University. Congratulations! Seniors, make sure to let Gonzalez and Gomez know if you received an acceptance to a college of your choice. We would love to give you a shout out on a future episode. Biomed Senior Award and Swag Distribution will be in the drive through format again this year. Make sure to mark your calendar for Thursday, May 6th from 3 to 4 so you don't miss this opportunity to pick up your certificates and swag. If you're also an AVID, they'll be distributing their materials at the same time. You'll also get a chance to get your autographed Biomed Bulletin pictures from two of the hottest YouTube stars around. Seriously. Before we get into the Biomed Freshman of the Month, we're excited to share the Historical Student of the Week. This week, we wanna congratulate Taryn Wallace on being named Freshman of the Month, April 2019. Congratulations on the huge for accomplishment. <laughs> the Biomed Freshman of the Month, Alexis Abed. Alexis is a kind and responsible young woman who is always going above and beyond. She has the highest grade of any student in Tilton's classes and is still looking for ways to push herself further. Keep up the good work, Alexis. And now, Mr. Gomez with a special sports announcement. Sports are still underway, and this week we're excited to announce the addition of wrestling to the athletic calendar. Also, I'm excited to share the new track and field and cross country record boards that are now mounted in the gym. Here are this week's competitions. Go Lions! Now
Now here's a recap of this week's athletic contests. This is Coach Vega, boys soccer. Um, this week we tied with Palmdale 0-0 and beat Little Rock 2-1. Okay, hi, I'm Roxana Salazar. Hi, I'm Vivian Segura. And Eastside Softball beat Palmdale 7-5 at an away game. Hey, Eastside family. Coach Cisco here with a quick update on the boys varsity basketball game that took place at Lancaster High School last night. The outcome of the game was 43-30. Uh, we won, and our next upcoming game will be this Friday at AV. If you're interested in watching, make sure to live stream and go Lions. Shout out to Girls Soccer for winning against Palmdale last Thursday, 1-0, and winning against Little Rock on Tuesday, 3-0. And here are the Athletes of the Week. For the boys, we have Ethan Foley. Ethan hit two home runs against Highland High School last week, as well as pitched the full game. For the girls, we have Madeline Ortiz. Maddie constantly pushes the team to do their best and to give their all. College signings are happening. Be on the lookout for a coming live stream of Eastside athletes signing to play athletics at the collegiate level. Students should have received their progress reports in the mail this week. We want to congratulate all the students who made the honor roll. We also want to congratulate those who made the principals list. Great job, everyone. Remember, there are only five weeks left of school. We want to encourage you all to do your very best to finish this year strong. Whether you are now on campus or still learning from home, please talk with your teachers about any grade boost or grade recovery options for the rest of the year. The year is not over and there's still time. Avid seniors are still working on their virtual college fair. A flyer invitation is coming soon. Signing day is May 1st, so we're asking all AVID seniors to post on our AVID Signing Day Padlet announcing where they will be in the fall. Freshman, sophomore, and junior AVID classes are preparing for finals, tutoring, organization, and finishing strong. May 1st is College Commitment Day. Are you headed to a four-year college? If so, make sure to fill out Ms. Vargas' form so we can include you in senior awards. A link to the form can be found in the description below. There are many scholarships still available Make sure you check out Naviance and our virtual college and career center on our school website. Are you still working on credits for junior and senior supplemental? If so, make sure you complete them as soon as possible. Especially seniors, you must be on target to graduate in order to participate in graduation. Some of you may have forgotten about this epic bubble match challenge from Eduardo El Mejor Bubble Master Gonzalez to Mr. Principal Charles Dunn. If you forgot about it, check this out. But who I really want to go against next is Charles Principal Mr. Dunn. Mr. Dunn came back with his own challenge. I challenge you to a bubble match on your time, your terms, your place. Let's bring it. And so, we're proud to present this week's bubble match. Wait, was that the original plan? Yeah, why? I just don't want to forget anything. No, we're good. Enjoy. Who do you think actually won? 
You'll just have to wait and see. Oh man. Uh, can you give us a uh, science lesson on what happened here today? Again, force equals mass times acceleration. Who has more mass? Yours truly. <laughs> Who do you think actually won? You know, you have to wait and see, but I'm leaning towards you. All right, you guys still cool? Oh, always. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. 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 COVID times, man. Yeah. Wow, that was impressive. Empathetic. Great job, guys. Sure. If you like that one, check out the newest bubble match challenge. Is this thing on? I'm breaking in here to publicly challenge Miss Bernays to a bubble match. If you don't know what she looks like, take a look at this. If I looked like that in junior high, I'd be mad too. Miss Wallace, I formally accept your challenge. You're going down. Stay tuned. Seniors, tomorrow you'll be getting an email from me with a link to a form that needs to be filled out to attend an in-person graduation ceremony. It will be sent out at 1 p.m. sharp. On this form, you will state whether you plan to attend an in-person ceremony, and if so, what time you want to attend. Make sure to fill this form out as soon as you get it so you can attend this ceremony that works best for you and your family. Continue to be on the lookout for more information regarding senior activities. Thank you. Good morning, AP students. Are you ready for our upcoming digital AP exam season? Flex Alert, Eastside High School AP participation is one of the top in the Animal Valley, number two, with over 740 AP students taking over 1,300 AP exams. The majority of the AP exams are scheduled to start May 18th. Check with your AP teachers for exact times and dates or see the link in the description below. Be sure to complete the digital readiness check with your class. If you need a Chromebook, be sure to visit Eastside campus to pick one up. Good luck students and represent Eastside well. We had a great opportunity to interview Ivan Lopez, an Antelope Valley native, UCLA graduate, and now a Stanford Medical School student. Ivan discusses lessons he has learned throughout high school, undergrad, and even during the application process to med school. His interview is both informative and inspiring. Click on the link above to watch the interview in its entirety. And now, Miss Stone Rock with this week's Biomed birthday. Happy, happy birthday from Biomed to you. We wish you was our birthday so we could party too. Woo! Thank you for joining us on this episode of the Biomed Bulletin. And even though we did Biomed birthdays earlier, we wanted to send a very special birthday wish to probably our favorite Biomed student, who we call <laughs> You deserve it. Congratulations. And also congratulations to Alexis Abed on being named Freshman of the Month. And to Miss Wallace for her giant, massive, impressive forehead accomplishment. And don't forget about our newest sponsor. Hi everyone, I'm Crystal Young, CEO and creator of Family Reunion, the official wing sauce for Biomed Bulletin. You can find the link to their website in the description below. Make sure to tell them that the GoGo -Go sent you. Be on the lookout for a special Cinco de Mayo celebration next week. Until then, I'm Mr. Gomez. And I'm Mr. Gonzalez, reminding you to stay safe and have a great weekend. Thank you for watching. Stay up with all your news needs. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at GoEdTechGo, on TikTok at GoGoTakeOver, and on Instagram at Eastside Biomed. If I looked like that in junior high, I'd be mad too. <laughs>